hello dear students in this lecture we are going to see log based protocols so what basically log based protocol is why we have to log the particular atom that we are going to see in this topic one way to ensure isolation is to require that data atoms be accessed in a mutually exclusive manner that is one transaction is accessing a data atom at that time no other transaction can modify that data atom so that we have seen in the previous video of properties of transaction that property is isolation property that when one transaction is getting executed at the same time next transaction or other transaction cannot executed the most common method used to implement this requirement is to allow a transaction to access a data atom only if it is currently holding a lock on that atom so this requirement of isolation is possible when we apply the concept of locking to the different data atoms there are two modes of lock in the database these two modes are shared lock and exclusive lock what is shared lock if a transaction ti has obtained a shared mode lock this shared mode lock is denoted by capital s if the transaction ti has obtained a shared mode lock on atom q then ti can read but cannot write q so if the lock is shared that a data atom can be read only the not write exclusive manner in transaction ti or exclusive lock in a transaction ti if a transaction ti has obtained an exclusive mode lock denoted by x on data atom q then ti can both read and write q that means if the data atom is locked in exclusive manner then the transaction can read and write the data atom q so if the data atom is in locked in exclusive manner then the that ti transaction can both read and write the data atom q that means if the data atom is locked in shared mode then that can be only read and if the data atom is shared in exclusive mode then it can both read and write thank you for listening